Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Naz with Hijabs and You with another beautiful tutorial. It's elegant, it's easy, it's simple, it's quick, but it's beautiful. And I'd like each and every one of you to try this. I'm so excited to share it with you. So please stay with me and let's put together this beautiful, elegant, easy, simple. It's just easy and simple, but it's elegant looking. So I'm going to share two styles with you today uh, using a rectangular shawl. It's absolutely gorgeous shawl. The color is fabulous for the weather that we're having. It's just beautiful. So do share, stay with me and let's put together this tutorial. Stay with me. My dear viewers, let's get right into this tutorial. Let me show you how I got this really beautiful, elegant look. It's simple, it's easy. We're using a rectangular shawl today. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's so easy. What I've done, I've got my ninja on because I've got a bit of a low neck. So I wanna make sure that's covered. I know it will be covered with a scarf, but sometimes the scarf is thin and it sees through. So I wanna make sure that my neck is covered. And to fancy this up today and to match it with my sweater that I'm wearing, I put this really nice cap on. Now, uh, some sisters don't like that cap that is fancy. They like it nice and bland and that's okay. Then you don't need to use that. You can just use the Ninja or you can use a, a cap that you tie in the back or whatever makes you comfortable. Some sisters create their own under cap one of these days I'm going to do one of those for you as well but for right now we're using ninja and a very little fancy cap what I've done is I have put the very end of the scarf let me show you so we're going to use the very end of the shawl right here put a stick pin there bring it here we're going to bring it under and bring it over to the back and to the front it's simple, it's quick, it's easy, but it's so elegant looking. I just want to make sure we have this really beautiful look today. And then we're going to bring the scarf right here at the very end of your face, right here. And we're going to bring it over here as well. See that? Now, if you don't want the front showing as much, what, we, what you can do is bring this a bit forward. So we're going to do this so we have a nice crisscross in the front. See that? And we're going to give it a tuck right here. And again, I'm going to use a, a short stick pin. And then what we're going to do is, again, we're going to just give it a bit of a fold, like tuck it in here and bring it under the neck with that bit of a fold right here bring it down and there you go Duh, it's just and now we're going to put a bit of a longer stick pin because you've got the whole scarf there so i'm going to try and get one of it's one of these and i'm going to pin it right here simple it's easy it's elegant we've got full coverage see how beautiful that is we've got coverage in the back it is i've let it just flow and hang in the back so you have that nice coverage in the back you've got coverage in the front and you've got this beautiful looking hijab tutorial it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous the style is beautiful it's not too many pins it's just two pins here with the one big stick pin over here and you are done it's absolutely gorgeous what do you think do you like that do you like that my dear viewers it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful and we've got full coverage well my dear viewers i hope you like that so now what i can do for you is i'm going to take this uh, Part, and I'm going to show you how we can wrap it without that on there. So stay with me. So my dear viewers, I've removed the cap. I've just got my ninja on and we've got the shawl here. And what we're going to do is pin it without the cap. So you see the difference in the look. Okay. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to pin the scarf right here, over here. And we're going to use one of those short stick pins again. Remember now you have just 
minimal to pin it on. So just be careful when you pin it that you have enough holding there so it doesn't come apart. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna give it a little stick pin here as well. One of the little ones, the shorter ones, so that the fabric doesn't move when you're pulling it across. And then we're gonna bring it under the back again, like we did before. And just we're going to wrap that exactly like we did before, except now we don't have a cap on. And we're going to bring it so we have a nice. And notice what I've done this time is I've not shown a lot in the front. I've just shown a little bit. And then we're going to give it that little stick pin there again here, right here. Then my dear viewers, what we do is we just give it a little tuck here. And we fold it under with, a, with that little fold. Bring it under your chin. Bring it over. And you do the same thing. You give it a nice one of the longer stick pins here. So we let it sit in the back. We're using the longer one. We're going to pin it here nice. Make sure that you've gotten enough of the fabric so it stays in place. And again, we have the same full coverage. However, we are not using the fancy shiny scarf in front because some sisters don't like it that way. And what we do is make sure that our It's like that. And exactly the same way with full coverage. It's hanging in the back very nicely, same way. Just making sure that we have the scarf is hanging nicely in the back. See that? And we've got the coverage in the front. And there's no blings in the front. It's nice and it's neat. Um, you know, we all have different preference and I like them both. I mean, this is really pretty as it is, so you can, you know, use it how you, to your preference, really, my dear viewers, it's up to you how you like it, and you, you know, set your scarf, set your, and a cap really nicely that it, see that, how neat it is on the ends, you make sure that when you wrap it, it sits nicely towards the end, so you have a really nice and neat look. Well, my dear viewers, I hope you like that, and if you did like that, please do hit the like button. And do share it with your friends and your family. I ask each and every one of you to always share my videos because if one of our sisters get the you know comfort from wearing her hijab or she gets the desire to put the hijab on, uh, you know, you and I would have done our bit. So please, my dear viewers, share it with your friends. And even if you're not a hijabi and you don't wear hijab and you've come across my channel and you see what you like, please do share it with your friends and anyone that you think might benefit from looking at the hijab tutorial. So my dear viewers, do share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the subscribe button, click on the bell icon and tick off the all. And what that means is that you will not miss any of my uploads. Uh, whenever I upload a video, you will get an instant notification that Naz from Hijabs and You have uh, uploaded a video. All right, so please do subscribe. There's no charge to it. It's just you need a Gmail account and that's all it is. And my dear viewers, I am asking you, please, I do have another channel. I'm hoping that you can check that out as well. It is called Soothing Soulful Rhythms. And what that is, it's for relaxation. Uh, I'm sure some of you will benefit from that too, if it's something that would interest you. So please do check it out at least. It's called Soothing Soulful Rhythms. So do check that out. And I thank each and every one of you for being with me in the journey so far. It's been a beautiful journey so far. And the platform is building very, very nicely. I thank all of you for it. Now, until we meet again, please do stay safe. We are in second lockdown, so we need to protect ourselves, protect our families, protect the neighbors, protect our, anyone around you. If you do your bit and everyone does their bit, then hopefully, inshallah, we are all going to be protected. So we have to do our bit. So stay safe. This is Naz saying, Assalamu Alaikum.